Oh, goddamn. What's poppin' everybody? How's it been? How's it going? I know. See, I'm trying to get back on the grind. I know you see me posting these videos. Let me fix this light real quick. That's right, boy. Mm, I didn't really help it. You know, I thought it... Whatever, I don't care. Y'all gonna see the glare in the TV. Do I care? A little bit. Not really. Not too much for me to be bothered. But we are back with another video. Yeah! Today's video is gonna be... The motherfucking... Uh, uh, how to get fashionably fit or how to be fashionable. Hell, uh... What am I saying? No, let me start over. Today's video, everyone, is gonna be a video on how to be fashionable on a budget for the spring. So spring essentials on a budget. I guess that's what we're gonna call it. We start the intro now. Am I gonna have an intro? So everyone, I know what y'all been thinking, like what's the fashion stuff, what y'all been copying, what y'all been doing, but lately I've been trying to save some money. So if y'all like me, y'all trying to save some money, but also look pretty good, y'all should watch this video, or maybe I can give you guys some tips steer you towards the right way. A lot of y'all should know how to shop if y'all don't, just for you. So we're gonna start off with three basic things and they're gonna be all tops that you might need for the spring. Number one, it's gonna be a sweater. A sweater for the spring? Yeah, a sweater for the spring, dude. It gets cold sometimes, especially out here in Jersey if you're in the East Coast. You know how cold it gets even in the spring. I think daylight savings is tomorrow and we still got like 40, 50 degree weather. It's supposed to be spring. So, you gonna need a sweater. Thing number two, so you gonna need a shirt. You gonna need a shirt, long sleeve, short sleeve, t-shirt, whatever. Third thing, she y'all gonna need is a light coat, light jacket for the rain. You know, springtime it rains. Also, honorable mention, I'm gonna add a pair of pants in here. And that's because you do need pants. You need some lightweight pants. Obviously, you're gonna see me wearing jeans um, and some of the fits. So let's get started. Thing number one, it's gonna be a sweater. You can go to anywhere to really get a sweater as long as you get in with a good price. But what I recommend is going to a thrift store. I got this hoodie here, sweater from the thrift. Yeah, it's an Eagles. It's a 2XL, but it actually fits really nice. I don't really like V-neck, but for these types of sweaters, I like it because it's like a big build. Feels a little bulky, looks really nice. You got the Eagles embroidered, all embroidered. Some threads hanging off, but it's nothing I can't fix, you know? Little alterations here and there, and everything should be okay. Now the fit of this is a bit bulky. It's kind of big, but I think it works, especially with the way fashion is now. It's kind of going a little towards the bigger side. It's all black, NFL embroidered on the back, and I think it's great, it keeps you warm. It's not too hot. You can also wear this during the winter this is very versatile you can wear it whenever it's not awful it's it won't you won't feel constricted when you're wearing it. it's big and flowy great sweater for the springtime item number two it's gonna be a shirt now you're gonna be thinking a flannel for the springtime yeah a flannel for the springtime this flannel is actually got it for three dollars three dollars at the thrift oh almost dropped it you saw that catch i know you saw that thrift oh, thrift. oh. telling you man thrift stores they got it, bro. I know I could be displaying this a lot better. Actually, hold on. Let me get the, yeah. Okay. Boom, here we go. Uh, look at me, I'm professional now. Subscribe to me, because I'm professional now. Check me out. Hey, professional right here. Got this nice flannel right here. Boom. I could even hang it on here. Let's try that again. Okay, hey, I can't hang it on there, but anyway, I could just hold it up. Boom, perfect. I think it's great colors. It's a great colored flannel. You can wear this over a shirt. You have to get it a bit oversized. I got it in a large, so I can wear it over a shirt. I can button it up, or I can just wear it on its own, button all the way to the top. Flannels are great, especially for the spring. They're great for the fall. I kind of feel like sometimes spring and fall attire should be somewhat the same. It's kind of, well, in the East Coast, I'm sorry. In the East Coast, it's kind of cold for both seasons, so I think it goes really well. Uh, with spring and the fall. I have a ton of flannels that I haven't been wearing and I'm gonna bust them out. I'm gonna bust them out. I'm gonna bust them out for the springtime. I really like the, the plaid patterns on here. It's very boring, very simple, but I like boring and simple sometimes, you know? Cause then you could you could wear different accessories or, or great shoes with it. If you have a statement shoe, this can be either, a, a, this is great cause it can be a statement shirt or it can be a muted shirt and then you can wear it with your statement shoes, your statement jeans. Final and last thing that you should have as a spring essential is a coat. Now, now, let me make this look professional again. Why am I bad at this? You know what? I should have prepared this video a little better. Whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna do it, you know? You feel me? Boom. Still looks like shit. Wow. Boom. A lightweight 
jacket. This thing is amazing because it's very packable. You can pack it up, put it away in your backpack. If you carry a, a little shoulder bag, which I do, it might fit in there. Haven't tried it yet, but I will try it later, maybe for the purpose of this video. Now this sweater is, it's a light blue and it's from Gap. And I got this actually for, I think it was $10 at Gap. You can always check different stores. There's always clearance sections, sale aisles. Don't be embarrassed to go to the clearance section or the sale, or even if you're online or looking for coupons. Bruh, there's one thing about me, no matter how much money I make no matter if I do get rich someday or not I hope I do I will always always check out the clearance section because don't you hate when you go into a store and you see something you like and you buy it and the next month it's on sale it's like bruh I could have waited a month and I could have got this for like a tenth of the price or something but this is a nice lightweight jacket it's good for the rain it keeps you warm but also it's very breezy and cool I actually took this to Florida when I went to Florida on vacation and this is a great a uh, lightweight jacket to wear over there, especially because the weather was around the 60, 65, 70. So it's kind of like the springtime around here. So I thought it would be a, a great fit and actually it, it worked perfectly out there. It kept me warm when there was like slight breezes. Perfect jacket for the spring. Clean, it's solid, it's blue. Let me look for the pants. Now for the honorable mention, which would be the pants, I would have to go with Boom, the nylon Swisher Johns. That's what I'm gonna call these. You know, they're they're the, uh, the sweats that you can, wow, I'm awful at explaining this, huh? I got these at PacSun. These were actually on sale. I think I got them for $15. So that's actually a good bargain if you ask me. So you don't always have to go to the thrift to get cheap things. You can also go to retail stores like PacSun, Gap, Old Navy, H&M. There's always things for sale. And the best time to shop for the spring would be in the winter. I bought this a couple months, like two months ago or a month ago for the winter. The best time to shop for the winter is actually towards the end of the winter because that's when things go on sale so always be sh cognitive or or aware of when the seasons are coming up and what you can buy to wear for this season i know a lot of people don't think that way but since me i'm i wouldn't say i'm super fashion oriented or anything like that but i'm just be i'm gonna keep it hundred with y'all i'm gonna keep it hundred with y'all how i look good you feel me <clears throat> excuse me mm. oh guacamole i bought these swishy pants these are actually really nice and really comfortable i like them because they have a simple white line down the side they're navy blue kind of so i can wear these with black white cream anything and they're actually really comfortable they fit a bit tight when you're putting it up on the to your waist but other than that man the fit is great i got these in a small um so if you're about five eight and a half 160 built like me get a small unless you're a thicker dude and get a medium but these are actually a great fit i've worn these i have a photo actually on my instagram put it up right now i hope i put it up but i didn't i'm stupid but i have it up right now and as you can see i'm wearing it with a hoodie over a jacket and i got my 11s on got my concords you feel me i'm looking nice it was cold as hell outside that day so shout out to anna for taking that photo if you want a nice pair of pants for the spring, I would say some nylon, some some swishy pants, you know, some some nice track pants, something that it is breezy, it's light, but it's also comfortable. So now that I've let you guys know my essentials, you know, comment down below or show me your essentials. You know, tag me on a photo on Instagram if y'all want to. If not, man, just do it yourself, show it off to your friends, show everyone like, yo, check me out. I got dressed down on a budget and I still look good. Don't be afraid of telling people that you got that from the sales section, this and that. Cause more than often they'll be like, oh shit, I can't believe you got that for that cheap. You know, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a brag a little bit, you know, you bragging a little bit. Anyways, remember to check out the podcast that we just put up. Check out the podcast. I made a whole video dedicated to it. It's really good. It's, it's, I think it's funny. I love it. I have fun doing it. And we also have a Patreon, so support the Patreon and make sure you tell everybody about it. Tell your mom, tell your dad. I always tell you to tell everyone about it cause the bigger we get, the better it's going to be, you feel me? And the more content we can provide for y'all. Anyway, subscribe, share, like all that bullshit. I'm out of breath. I haven't talked to the camera like this in a long time. I hope y'all fuck with this. I got all this shit for less than $20. I lied. Less than $80. See y'all later. Peace. I'm not going to end it like that. That was kind of weird. I'll see y'all later. Oh, shit.